like over 5 million other people in the last 24 hours, I saw the preview for Shane Dawson's new series, The Beautiful Life of Jeffree Star. But in this video, I wanted to discuss something that I don't see anybody else talking about. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter, at The Rewired Soul. All right, so before I jump into this, I just read a phenomenal article by Julia Alexander from The Verge. I'm gonna link that down in the description. It's about this upcoming Shane Dawson series with Jeffree Star and everything. But anyways, Julia is a phenomenal, phenomenal journalist. And she writes a bunch of great articles over at The Verge. So make sure you check that article out. It's gonna be linked down in the description below. All right, so anyways, let's jump into this. Why am I making this video? Why am I doing it? So. My, my thing, my thing, I am absolutely fascinated, some of you know this about me, I'm fascinated with human nature, psychology, why we do the things we do, why we think the way we think, and all that. And I'm really curious why the situation leading up to this series with Jeffree Star is so much different than one year ago, the series with Jake Paul. So this video isn't meant to stir anything up. I'm actually really curious and I would love all of your feedback down in the comments below. Like I want you to kind of listen to the topics that I'm gonna bring up and just let me know your opinions and your thoughts and theories down in the comments below. Just wondering why the YouTube community responds certain ways for certain situations and other ways for other situations, all right? So one year ago was when my channel actually started gaining some momentum because I covered the Shane Dawson Inside the Mind of Jake Paul series. Now, what a lot of people haven't mentioned or brought up is that one year ago, when it was even announced that Shane Dawson was doing this series with Jake Paul, people were freaking out. Like Shane's fans were freaking out, non-fans of Shane's uh, were freaking out because of this. Jake Paul is a controversial figure, and one of the main concerns that everybody had was this wasn't gonna be a true docu-series because Jake Paul was going to have Shane Dawson edit out a bunch of stuff, right? This is the narrative that was going on. Like Philip DeFranco even had a whole segment talking about how people were freaking out and concerned that Shane Dawson was making a series with Jake Paul. And I was just kind of thinking about it, right? Like we've known about this Jeffree Star series for way longer than Jake Paul. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, both are kind of controversial, but I pretty much just want to bring this up and have a conversation and just try to see what your guys' thoughts are on why these two situations are different. See, what's really interesting is everybody was really worried about Jake Paul having Shane Dawson edit out a bunch of stuff, right? But I haven't heard that come up at all with Jeffree Star. But what's really weird is Jeffree Star is actually known for that. So those of you who don't remember just months ago during the whole James Charles and Tati Westbrook drama that was coming up, it was shown that during that time, Jeffree Star deleted thousands and thousands of tweets, right? So we have physical evidence that Jeffree Star is somebody who sweeps things under the rug, but it hasn't come up in the same way that it did for Jake Paul. So something I'm always doing is I'm trying to compare one scenario to another and seeing what's similar and what's different. So in Jake Paul's situation, when that series started, what were the primary accusations against Jake Paul? And the primary one was that Jake Paul is a money hungry dick. All right, <laughs> like, think about it. Like Jake Paul's brother did that terrible thing in Japan, but what did Jake Paul do? Now, there were also situations where 
um, you know, he had uh, problems with his ex-girlfriends and everything like that as well. And I covered that extensively when I was going over that. But when we look at the situation, like Jake Paul is a money hungry dick, right? But Jeffree Star is like a bajillionaire, but it's praised, right? It's admired, it's looked up to. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, why is it bad over here, but not bad over there? But also in comparing the controversies, going back, like one of the most notable ones, and even though this is, you know, from years ago, Jeffree Star was on camera multiple times dropping the N-bomb with the hard R, all right? And going back to kind of scrubbing the internet, like I've covered a few Jeffree Star topics, and whenever I look for videos of those old clips, it's very, very hard to find. I think the last time I even had to find it on like Vimeo or something like that. Like Jeffree Star is very good at scrubbing the internet of his past. But also in comparing situations, I just released a video about Laura Lee the other day. And if you remember, when Laura Lee and Manny MUA and everybody was all caught up in, you know, drama in, Laura Lee had some tweets that people deemed as racist. But I also wanna note, Laura Lee did not drop racial slurs in those tweets, but people are still having a problem with that. But for some reason, Jeffree Star has been given a pass. And I, I, again, I just wanna hear from you, like why do you think that is? But most recently, and here's what's just kind of on my mind, most recently during the James Charles and Tati Westbrook controversy, Jeffree Star was going off. And we see that Shane Dawson was covering it at that time, and I'm interested to see what's gonna happen. But anyways, during that time, not only did Jeffree Star delete thousands of tweets, but he labeled James Charles as a sexual predator, possibly an abuser, somebody who has committed sexual assault, like very serious allegations, all right? Like extremely serious allegations, all right? So nobody's really wondering how much we're going to see of what was actually happening in that scenario. So again, I want to ask you, the audience, please leave a comment down below. Why do you think the Jeffree Star series is being received so much differently than the Jake Paul series, all right? Here is my quick theory on it, all right? Jake Paul is not part of the in-group. And by the way, I've been reading a lot of books on like <laughs> evolutionary psychology and group psychology and all that kind of stuff. But Jake Paul is not part of the in-group, all right? When you look at people like Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star, it makes sense, like that's part of the group, like it's part of the beauty community group, right? And Jake Paul was an outsider, so it's kind of this us and them. We're not accepting of people on the outside. Now me, I'm just a dude. I'm not in the beauty community, I'm not a Jake Pauler <laughs> or anything like that, and maybe that helps me get more of a uh, an outside perspective. Again, this is just my theory, but I think that's why Jake Paul had such a different reaction because a lot of people who are tuning into Shane Dawson obviously are not Jake Paul fans. There's not much overlap there. So a lot of people were hoping Shane Dawson's series was going to expose Jake Paul. What I think, what I think is going on is when he does a series about Jeffree Star, who's part of the in group, part of the beauty community, people aren't looking for Shane Dawson to expose Jeffree Star. People just wanna get behind the scenes with Jeffree Star. Now think about that real quick. I don't know, let me know if you think that might be a good assumption, all right? But anyways, there are some people um, who have talked about this, like I don't wanna just say nobody's bringing this up. Like there is another YouTuber named uh, That Girl Shay, and here's a tweet from her that actually had over 800 likes on Twitter, and it said, listen, Shane was the first boy I legit loved since I was young. Seeing him do this series with Jeffree Star hurts my soul. I don't judge anyone for loving who they love, but I just cannot move past so much Jeffree Star stuff. I can't, and I hate this. I can't even watch it. I don't know, man. So again, there are 
other people out there bringing up this kind of stuff, but um, obviously this series is gonna get millions and millions and millions and millions of views, like insane amount of views, right? And we don't know how many parts it's gonna be, like Inside the Mind of Jay Paul was like eight or nine videos or anything. But my final thoughts on this, I will say this. I have faith in Shane Dawson because with all of the, the skepticism people had going into the Jake Paul series, I think Shane Dawson did an amazing job. He didn't go easy on Jake Paul. He asked him tough questions. He covered some very tough subjects and everything like that. So I have faith. I have faith in this upcoming series. But again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below about why you think these situations are just kind of received differently. All right, but anyways, um, before I go, if you want to, I wrote a book called Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, where I not only share my experience about being canceled earlier this year, but I actually have a chapter in there why people like Jeffree Star are immune to cancel culture. And I also talk about the James Charles situation, just cancel culture and YouTube as a whole. So if you wanna check out my book, it's available in both ebook and audiobook format. And it's gonna be linked down in the description and in the pinned comment down below. All right, and don't forget to check out that article from Julia Alexander. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I will be covering this beautiful life of Jeffree Star series and seeing what topics we could take away from it and learn from it. All right, but I want to send a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon and a huge thank you to everybody out there who buys my books and merch like this shirt right here with our adorable cat Wyatt on it. Thank you all so much. That all helps support the channel. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.